Hey guys, Thunder E here, and welcome to my mini gaming PC build. Now, I haven't done a gaming PC build in a while, and I thought this one was necessary. Well, I'm at home, and you guys are home too, so hopefully you guys are staying safe. I wanted to build a PC that was smaller and took up less space, because the space I use for my gaming PC uh, is where I also used to record a lot of my videos. So I needed something with a lot of power and performance and uh, that's why this video is here. Now I wanna give a big shout out to Samsung for partnering and sponsoring this video. They reached out and said, hey, would you like to check out the 970 EVO Plus, which is this bad boy right here? And I said, yeah, I mean, I need some NVMEs and these are NVMEs and uh, they have some really good performance. So what other parts do I have in this build that makes a lot of sense? So. I started off with the processor. It's an AMD 3950X. I've been using AMD processors for a while, and this bad boy is pretty much one step to a Threadripper, or it technically is a Threadripper, if, if you want to call it that. It's powerful, performance is great, 16 cores, 4.7 gigahertz, truly amazing processor to use for a small build like this. Next up is my RAM. I went with the crucial ballistic RAM, 32 gigabytes, 3200. It's RGB RAM. It's really nice. Again, fits into what I want to in this build. Uh, right here. Now, the NVMEs, I got two from Samsung. I've got one terabyte and a two terabyte. Of course, one for the OS, one for games. The reason I'm really liking what I see from the 970 EVO Plus is the fact that its read and write speeds are tremendously high. 3500 and 3300 and we'll check that out in this video because it is truly amazing that I can have that because that means that my games can be read faster, uh, load times, rendering, all that stuff. It comes into play when you put this kind of system together. Now this is all going to be mounted onto a motherboard and I went with the Gigabyte Aorus X50i. It's a mini ITX board because I'm building a smaller, uh, smaller PC. Uh, great thing about this board is it supports up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, this also has PCIe 4.0 and has Wi-Fi 6 and will support everything that I'm putting in here. Plus, the big thing for me is that it also takes uh, two NVMe slots, so I can use both of this at the same time on this kind of small board. Uh, my graphics card is a GTX uh, 2080 Ti. It's a Founders Edition. The reason I went with this is because it fits quite well, packs a lot of performance into my case. And the case I'm using, you guys guessed it, is the NZXT uh, H1 Mini. This is a mini ITX case. You've seen a lot of builds, so my build is not going to go into a lot of detail, but I like this case. I mean, this is like a plug and play case for PC building. If you build a PC, you know it's it can be a process, especially if you're doing something custom, but this is so easy. Comes with a 650 power supply. It's also got water cooling as well. So you've got a water cooling pump uh, and it's so easy to add all the things in here. Now, speaking about how easy that build is, uh, the case itself pretty much opens up. I'm gonna drop, of course, my motherboard. But before I do that, I put all the things I need in there, of course. My, my CPU, the 3950X, my RAM, as well as also my MVMEs. Now, as I mentioned, there are two slots on there. There's one at the back at the bottom, and then there's one on the top, which has a cooling fan. So that's where my one terabyte is gonna go into, and then my two terabyte will go in at the bottom of uh, the motherboard. Now, I slot in that motherboard into the case. That's four screws right there. Then I put on the cooler. That's pretty simple. I close that up. And the next thing I need to drop in is my graphics card. Now the graphics card, basically there's a wrap, wrap around stand loop that I can connect the card so it can fit and close the case and we are good to go. This is a lovely looking case and build. The reason I went with this, went with the white is because it takes so much a small footprint. So think about it and all that, we've got a 3950X, we've got, uh, you know, 32 gigabytes of RAM, we've got three terabytes of storage and NVMe storage, the 970 EVO Plus, we've got a GTX 2080 Ti uh, and we also have a small, great looking case. Now, what about performance? You know, forget that. Let's go ahead and jump in and play game. No, no, we gotta test how well those NVMEs actually do because Samsung did say 30 up to 3,500 and 3,300. And looking at the numbers here, this is truly impressive. It actually does 35, 53, which is slightly more than they stated, and also 3328 or so, uh, which means that 
you're going to be getting speeds that are actually mentioned by Samsung. The other thing also is that the NVMEs um, are guaranteed with a five-year warranty. So that's actually pretty nice that you can have this for quite a while, a long amount of time and still have warranty coverage for it. But it also means your games are going to run well. Now, my, I did also a benchmark test with 3D Benchmark and I was quite impressed with also what I got because when I compared it to other benchmarks online, uh, this was placed at 96 and the only thing that beat it was the a similar system, except with a dual SLI um, you know, configuration. This is just, of course, a single graphics card. So you're thinking next, okay, with, yeah, it looks great, it's nice, but what about the gaming performance? We've seen the benchmark numbers, and you're thinking, what about Call of Duty Warzone, which we can actually play, and also games like Doom Eternal. How do they run on a system like this? And I gotta tell you, uh, just looking at the benchmark numbers, this thing ran, this was at the max settings here for Call of Duty Mobile. I was able to get above 100 frames per second. I maxed out everything, I'd thrown all the shaders, and this thing ran like a beast. And even Doom Eternal, which, uh, uh, you know, has a lot of crazy settings on there. I maxed that out and again, I was able to get high 90s, 100 frames per second on the system as well, which is truly, truly amazing. I like what it, I, this system brings to the table. And even when I'm editing videos and editing in this video that you can see me on there, uh, the performance of editing is much better. I'm getting faster times as well. So it's also reading off my drive. And you know, some people say, yes, you know, there's a benefit of having a better GPU and also better CPU, but also, you know, the uh, storage comes into play. That read write ability for it to read faster so it can render faster, goes a long way and I like those aspects here. So there you have it guys, that is my mini gaming PC build. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you want to go ahead and do yours, build yours, I have the parts list below. Plus if you're looking to pick up that brand new Samsung uh, 970 EVO Plus NVMe, I have a link for you as well. Check it out, it performs as advertised and everything is pretty cool. Now, if you guys wanna see more games or more builds or uh, just more performance tests on this build, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and always enjoy your entertainment.